Okay, hi, I am Piyali Bhadra from Jagran English. Today, I am with the team of the Freelancer web series, which will start streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar from September 1. We have the lead protagonist of the series, Mohit Rena, sir, and the director, Bhavdhulia, with us today. Hello and welcome, sir. How are you both? How's it going on for you, both of you? Hi, Piyali. We are uh, good, very excited. So, Thank on you. a level Thank you so much of... for having us. Yeah, yeah. So on a level of one to ten, like how excited you both are for the release of the series? Like how is the josh going on? For me, it's 20. I don't know for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm right away gonna shoot out with the questions. I'm not gonna make take much of your time. I'm start I'm gonna start with Bhavdulia, sir. Sir, the trailer yeah. was recently released and the trailer looked really intriguing. So tell us uh, like uh, what made you pick Mohit Rena, sir, for the role of the protagonist? Right. So, uh, for starters, the show, The Freelancer, uh, we needed someone who is extremely versatile. Like, uh, this is the first time we'll see an Indian mercenary in Indian popular culture. And uh, we needed someone who can... He, for Freelancer, Mohit's character also goes through a journey. He plays the character of Avinash yeah. Khan. You see him in India, someone who's very rooted and someone who's in Europe, Middle East, uh, who's dealing yeah. with CIA, who's dealing with the intelligence agencies all over the world. So we needed someone really versatile. Uh, we needed someone who can handle a lot of action all over. We see a, we saw a glimpse of it with Mohit and Uri. Here he goes all out. So uh, those were the two factors. Okay. So, uh, talking about Avinash Kamat, um, Mohit Rana, sir, this is for you. Can you please uh, give us a brief like about your role as Avinash Kamat and the journey you had to undergo to get into the skin of the character? Well, I play, uh, as Bhav correctly said, I play Avinash Kamat, who's a, who, who's, who is a, a cop who was an ex-cop, basically, and he goes through some personal turmoil. And because of that, he goes into a dark phase where uh, and in in post that Mr. Anupam K's character comes and saves him and reforms him and uh, shows him a new layer of life and uh, from there he becomes the freelancer and uh, that's the journey of the character and uh, it's a very common it's a very common man whose life has transformed and he has gone through so much in life and eventually he decides to get back on his feet and do what he's really good at and okay. And uh, the journey has been great in uh, Freelancer. Uh, the preparation, I would say, when you have a visionary like Mr. Neeraj Pandey, who comes yeah. with so much experience and, yeah. done, and then Bhav obviously taking it ahead from yeah. him. I mean, you don't really need to do a lot of homework. And I think Neeraj sir also works. Uh, he prefers actors not to do a lot of homework. He believes mm -hmm. in the magic of the moment, magic of now. Yeah. So I didn't have to really go through, you know, usually you prepare a lot for the character. How, when, why, where, who, how. So I don't think I had to really go through uh, the depth and understand the character too much because that's the Neeraj sir's world. And uh, on set, Bhava had so much clarity and it guided us so well that uh, we just had to, you know, actor's job becomes really easy when uh, the director really knows uh, what they want, you know. So you just have to yeah. go from point A to point B and point C. So your half the job is done. So I think uh, everything was very uh, well taken care of. And we had some great uh, cast and great international yeah. crew. So we had a we had a ball, I guess, yeah. Yeah. So, Mohit Rana, sir, according to you, why do you think what will make the uh, freelancer stand out of the crowd for the viewers? Oh, only because of this reason, as I said, it, we yeah. haven't, we have obviously seen a lot of films, I think, on extraction mm -hmm. basis that are also very limited films. But mm -hmm. I don't think the digital platform, and especially in a series, we have ever seen an extraction series uh, mm -hmm. uh, of this scale of. Uh, of uh, of you know somebody going uh, across oceans and trying to save someone and mm -hmm. uh, i think that is what really stands out and the action is uh, phenomenal in the series you know we i think uh, we had this french uh, stunt coordinator jeremy 
I think he has worked on a lot of international films. So the kind of experience and that kind of uh, action that he brought in is phenomenal, you know. So I I think the Indian uh, web series genre will definitely see this kind of action for the first time. And when I say action, I don't say it, that it's only limited to action. It has a lot of emotional journey of all the characters from my character of Avinash Kamat to uh, Alia's character of who, which is played by uh, Kashmira. And uh, the, all other characters, how Mr. Anupam Kesh's character guides me, you know, what is yeah. the plight of um, Alia's mother and father, what is the plight of my wife, you know, there's a lot of backstory. So mm -hmm. I think this year, the audience is definitely going to have a, a great time watching this series. Lovely. So like, can we expo uh, expect uh, more such Avinat Kamat uh, roles in the future from you? Like, can you just give us a hint about the pipeline, that professional front that you're working Oh, well, this, right now I only have this Disney Plus Hotstar way free answer coming on 1st of September. Then obviously Mumbai Diaries uh, Season 2 is going to come out yeah, yeah. very soon. And after that, I will have something else, which obviously because I cannot really say when it's going to come out. But there'll be something else that will be coming out, uh, out as well. So in just five words, if uh, you can describe the character, how will you? Avinash Kamath? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um... Uh... I would say, um, early, I would say, I, I think uh, maybe short temper. <laughs> okay. Uh, then obviously, I would say, uh, at the same the time. Graph I, change, the graph, uh, will the graph change like eventually? Yes, yes. I think so. it will be a little, I would say, uh, there comes a point. So before that point, I think he, I can say that short tempered and lost. And post uh, the reform that he goes through, I think it is more, uh, I would say, ruthless. Uh, okay. Uh, if 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 I can use that word, and okay. brutal, and uh, you know that uh, having the having the eye uh, on his goal. Okay. So this question is for both of you. Like in your opinion, I'm going to start with Bhavdulia sir. Apart from Mohit Tena, do you think that? Uh, anybody can from the Bollywood can provide justice to, the, to this role and why? I don't because uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the character of Avinash Kamath goes through a very uh, drastic journey yeah. in the show. You know, he is at first, he's someone who's very rooted, who can come across as very desi, you know, and then when he transforms into an operative working in Europe in the Middle East, so we yeah. need it there. I don't, I, from the top of my head, I don't, I can't think of anyone who can fit those shoes and go through that journey. You know, I'll just add up by saying two things. One, uh, this is the first time in my life, I think I have uh, uh, said uh, yes to a project without knowing the story. I met actually okay. Neeraj Long back. That's a new thing to hear. Yeah, I met Neeraj Long okay. back at Special Ops, you know. and But that time, uh, because of some technical reasons, we couldn't, I couldn't be a part of his vision. And then, yeah. you know, I, I I was feeling very guilty about it, you know. So, you know, uh, I need to work with him somehow. I need to be a part of his vision. So after that, whatever work I used to do, you know, I used to send him trailers. Sir, this is my next the trailer. Because I okay. in my head never wanted him to forget me, you know. So I used to send him trailers. Sir, this is my trailer next. Aaya. Sir, this is my trailer. Yeah, so I used to send him Happy Diwali, Happy New Year. Oh. <laughs> so, so he effort, he, effort matters. Definitely effort mattered. And then he came, uh, he met me and he said, you know, I'm making something on a yeah. book called Ticket to Syria. He just gave me a one liner. He said, uh, what do you think you would? I said, yes, sir. Aap batai, where do I have to come? When I will come. Then obviously after that, I went back home. I bought the book. And then I read the book. I understood. So, yeah, I think this is the first time I have uh, said yes to someone whom I really wanted to work with without knowing what he's making. And second, I've chased someone. So an unforgettable moment, you know, for you, uh, like you think that, you know, you had uh, from the show, like when you were shooting during the show, an unforgettable moment that you want to share it out. Unforgettable. During the shoot. Unforgettable moment. Mm. Like every day something is new on the set. So something, you know, which we shooting, actually... Basically, uh, I, made... we, we, we shot this uh, this uh, series in Morocco and we went to shoot in this place called uh, uh, Ozerzat where Gladiator was shot apparently. And uh, so I, 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 I stayed in the same room. I was told where 
<laughs> Russell Crowe had stayed. So I was like, <laughs> for 24 hours, I was feeling like, okay, I have stayed where <laughs> Russell Crowe stayed, you know, being a huge gladiator okay, fan. Nice. <laughs> I think that yeah. was uh, something that I really enjoyed for some time. Okay, so I think we are out of time and I'm done with all my questions, thankfully. So once again, like, thank you so much for both of your time and uh, like all the best, uh, like for the series. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and watch it. So thank you. Thank you so much again for the time. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.